good morning from the hotel room i look like a hot mess it's like 5 45 in the morning and i don't have a report time until 9 45 so i thought i would head to the i would go ahead and head to the airport since i can't get back to sleep the shuttle will come at six and pick me up i sound like a man i've been sick and i'm gonna go sit in the amex the centurion lounge and just like eat breakfast and because I do not want any airport food. Please, no airport food. So I'm going to go in there and get breakfast. You can't go into, like, any of the lounges in your, like, pilot uniform, flight attendant uniform. You can't, you can't do that. So I'm going to literally take my stuff to change. I'm going to go to the Centurion Lounge, eat breakfast, head to the crew room upstairs at the airport, change into my uniform, and then go check in for my flight. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm starving. And then I will try to bring you guys along with me a little bit today, um, if I can. And whenever I get to my next hotel tonight, I will try to do a Q&A and answer some questions from Instagram and some questions from my last video. So stay tuned. So I'm at the airport right now. I really need lip gloss. You can tell my voice, I'm sick, 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 sick. I just put on some makeup right here. Waiting on the mascara to dry. Using my City Beauty mascara. Did I say I'm in Philly? I'm in Philly right now. I'm about to deadhead to Charlotte for a trip back to Harrisburg. Then I'm going to Rochester, New York, doing a couple legs from Rochester to Charlotte. Then this trip is over. This is a super short trip, and I'm off this weekend, thank goodness. So, that's kind of what's going on. Like I said, whenever I get back to the hotel tonight, I'll try to go through the questions that you guys have asked about this job, why I took this job, how the family feels about it. Just so many questions that have been asked over and over. I've just been so busy. And then I've been sick, so I'm slowly getting over that. And yeah, so I thought I would check in. I just um, got a ham -witch. It was, it's from Jamba Juice. I went to the Amex um, lounge, the Centurion lounge this morning. I had, you can't go in the lounges in your uniform. So I came to the airport in my regular clothes. And then I changed in the crew room. But yesterday, last night for dinner, the Centurion Lounge, the food was hitting good. That was in Charlotte, because I was in Charlotte last night. In Philly, the breakfast was not hitting. So I went to Jamba Juice. They have this thing called a hamwich. And y'all know I've lost a lot of weight. So I, I try to like really pay attention to my portions. Well, it's like a, it was like a sausage and egg biscuit. But it was like this, like, like the size of the palm of my hand. So it was like the perfect size for me. And I ate every bite. It was so good. I got this smoothie and it's really, really sweet. It's like called Razzataz or something. I'm not going to be able to finish that. Also, I sound like a man. I really sound like a man. Um, so I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to work this trip. And then I'll be back in the hotel later. And we'll chat. Okay, so I am back in the hotel room. I have some notes and some questions that you guys have asked on Instagram and kind of on here. Some are about weight loss, some are about flight attendant life, and I thought I would share that with you guys. Um, I'm on reserve right now. They have not called me to work today, so I'm kind of excited about that, getting a little break. I just got off of a trip, and it was really nice. I went to, um, I don't know. I might share that in a different video. We'll see. Um, but I do want to thank Catalina Crunch for sponsoring today's video. I want to talk about this because traveling a ton you can't always eat the best, so it's good to keep nice, healthy snacks with you, which is what I do. I keep them in my bag. I'll show you my bag, too. Hold on. Let me get my flight attendant bag. I'll show you. It's huge. So, this is my bag that I put on my J-hook that just kind of, like, hangs below my rollerboard. And my Catalina Crunch cookies fit, like, right down inside of it, like, perfectly. Normally, I'm a salty snacker, but I do get a sweet tooth every once in a while. And I want to make sure, like, I'm staying healthy, especially 
because like I said, it's so hard to always eat healthy when you're on the go. So I've got these Catalina Crunch cookies. They are low in sugar, they're low carb. There are lots of different flavors of these. This is my second time having these. I just opened these up. The mint ones are really good too. So if like you like mint, chocolate, anything, you would really like the mint cookies. Um, I've, I just finished those. I, I need to order some more. Um, these are just the regular ones and this is what they look like. I mean, how freaking delicious. So good. I'm making a mess, but regardless, they're delicious. And you don't have to feel guilty about eating them. So this is normally what I take on the go. I have been taking like a couple of each flavor and putting them in like in a little bag but they've been giving me longer trips so i'll just take a box and stick it in there because it's a little a little bit easier to do but it just tastes like a chocolate vanilla sandwich cookie oh my gosh i'm making a mess if you want to try catalina crunch for yourself you can actually go to their website go to catalinacrunch.com carla you can save 15 percent off of your order which is a great deal or you can just go to their website and use my code Carla. So make sure you try that out. They also have other things, but the cookies are my favorite. Hope you guys enjoy those. If you try Catalina Crunch or if you've ever tried them before, let me know. I know a lot of my friends on YouTube talk about Catalina Crunch all the time because they love them as well. So definitely let me know. But I'm gonna go over some of these questions. Some of these um, were asked on Instagram. The first one is what made you wanna be a flight attendant? Well, I personally have always love to travel but that's not the main reason once i started traveling a lot for work mainly when i started doing youtube full-time i started traveling to bigger cities and some of these cities i would travel to i would feel like i was in a complete different country it was the craziest thing so when i did that i was like oh my gosh the culture is just so different and i'm only in a different state i'm not even that far away maybe a thousand miles max probably not even that much so did that and so had all those thoughts in my head and then my oldest daughter started driving she turned 16 she got a car she started driving to school and pretty much i was like this is my time this is my time to be a flight attendant so i applied on a whim one day the funny thing is is i applied and i was leaving to go travel to las vegas and they invited me for a virtual interview and i did the virtual interview the night before i left for vegas like five hours before I had to be at the airport. I hadn't even packed my bags yet. I was, I had like hardly any sleep that night and I was in the pool in Vegas and I got a invite for my face-to-face -face interview. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And I went to my interview in July, July 28th was when my interview was. And yeah, I got offered the job on the spot and here we are and I'm loving it. I do miss my family, but I'll get into those questions here shortly. Okay, so the next question is, what is your schedule like? So for me, or basically for anybody, you bid every month on your schedule. I am based in Philly right now because when you are in training, you have like a list of bases you can choose from. I got my fourth pick. Um, I wanted Char Charlotte, but I got Philly. And they just put you based on, they go by seniority and they put you where they need you. Uh, starting in January, I will be based at home in Charlotte. So I'm so excited about that to be closer to my family. When I'm on, on reserve, I don't have to sit in hotel rooms. I can sit at home. So that is so exciting. So my schedule this month, I bid and I basically got what I wanted. I got every single weekend off. I got off Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And I also got off New Year's Eve. So that was exciting okay so the next question is are you gone long periods of time normally we will have like anywhere from like two to four day trips usually they're four day trips yesterday i was put on or monday i was put on a four day trip and they pulled me off of it on wednesday afternoon because the person that i was working for called back in well that's a whole another thing if you're not a flight attendant you may not know what that means but um, so they put me back on reserve. So here I am at the hotel waiting on a call for another trip. 
but that trip was freaking amazing. I'll go ahead and tell you, we went to Vermont, we went to Nashville. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that. Um, it was beautiful in Vermont. Like if you live in Vermont, I'm so jealous. It was so beautiful. I had an overnight in Nashville. It was amazing. I love Nashville so much. So we had a really long layover in Nashville. So we got to go out for a little bit. I just had a really good time. So there's that. And, um, Someone asked, do you get any choice of where you will go? Not really right now because I am on reserve. So they use me for trips when people call out and things like that. But there is this thing called open time when you're a flight attendant where you can like trade, like well, you can pick up trips basically. It, you can pick up trips on your day off, which I don't really want to pick up trips on my day off because that's my family time. So I don't do that, but you can do that. Somebody asked, what is the process to become a flight attendant? Basically, you just have to like literally have your eyes on the lookout constantly for um, the job applications open externally. They open internally time to time, but they rarely open externally. And when they do open, they'll open for like some of them only open for like 24 hours. Some of the applications are open for seven days. Some are open for three days. It really just depends on the company. You just have to keep your eyes open, looking for it. Turn on your notifications. Most of all airlines have notifications set for job openings. Do that, but as far as the process goes, you'll apply online. A lot of times you'll do an assessment online to see if they even want to hire you at all. After the assessment, normally they will do like a virtual interview. Well, you'll, you'll do like timed answers on a video. Um, that's how my company is anyway. And then after that, they'll offer you a face-to-face -face interview in person where they will, they will fly you in to wherever they're located, depending on um, what company. They'll fly you in for free and you'll do an interview and normally you'll leave the same day. They'll fly you out the same day. For me, um, I was able to drive to my interview because they were holding interviews in Charlotte. So I drove and I got offered a job on the spot and training started about two months later. I could have done the training the two weeks before, but my brother was getting married. So I had to postpone my training for two weeks. But yeah, the process from start to finish, July, July 28th is when I got my, well, I applied the end of May, got a virtual interview offer like the very beginning of June. And then right after I did my virtual interview, I got a face-to-face -face offer when I was in Vegas. That's when I was in Vegas with all the girls from Instagram. If you saw that, I was with Tiffany, Jessica, Melissa, and Rachel, and all of our husbands, we went to um, Vegas. Um, me and Tiffany were literally in the pool together, Tiffany from Small Town 6, and I got a, an email invite, so it was really cool. Um, so that was, and then my interview was July 28th, and then I started my training in October, and I finished in November, and so here we are. It's December, and I'm loving my job, and January, I'm transferring to Charlotte as my main base, so. I'm excited. Okay, so the next question I've been getting a lot is how does your family feel about your new job and you being gone? They are miserable. <laughs> I mean, they're not miserable, they are miserable. It's like a double-edged sword. Um, they love it. We've used my travel benefits already. We went to Mall of America in Minnesota. It was really fun. They are missing me like crazy. I've been gone for a while. Like I get to come home on my days off, but then I have to commute back to Philly the day before I have to work. So I don't get much time home, but that will change in January. And so they just miss mom being home all the time. And you know, I'm excited to be home a lot more. And when I'm sitting on reserve, like right now, I may not work today at all, but I'm in a hotel room. In January, when I'm based in Charlotte, I may not work at all, but I will be at home all day long with my family. So um, that's gonna be great. Um, somebody asked, what is training like? It's very hard, fast, and in a hurry. 
Um, you are learning depending on what company you go for. Some training is four weeks, some training is six weeks. It really just depends. But it's like taking four years of college in that short amount of time. It can be very stressful and I don't know, like mentally like, pew. but there's tests, there's drills. You can get through it. You just have to, you have to pay attention. You have to really want it. I'm not gonna say it's easy because it's not easy. You learn so much. I mean, you have to learn CPR. Um, there, there's just, there's, it's crazy. Like all of the things you learn, all the things that you did not know about aviation. Um, I've already learned so much. It's so fun going into the cockpit while the plane is in the air. Like it is so neat because you just walk in there and like everything's like white. Usually it's, it's, it's the craziest thing. I've been having a blast. Um, somebody asked if my weight loss was the reason why I decided to be a flight attendant. Not at all. Actually, whenever I applied for this job, I was 50 pounds heavier than I am now. So no, I've lost 50 pounds since I applied for the job. So that has nothing to do with that. I actually, um, I've had a lot of questions about my weight loss and people talking about, Oh, what shot are you on? Y'all, I have literally been trying to lose weight since February of 2023. It's December. It's been almost a year of consistently eating right and healthy, going to the gym and doing the things that you're supposed to do to lose weight. My biggest hangups with my weight loss and my weight gain my whole life is overeating, like binge eating, like eating when I'm bored, just binge eating. Like I said, if you know, you know, and then I will keep eating when, if the food's good, honey, I, I, I would always keep eating when I was full. So portion size was a big thing for me. A lot of times now when I go out to eat, I would just make sure I'm ordering just basically a kid size version of everything because that's really all I need to be full. I would order these big things or I would make these big plates at home instead of getting like a normal, like a big size plate at home that might be the size of this, I'll get a plate this, this big because I know that's all that I really am hungry for. So it's mainly about portion control. It's all in your head. It's all a mental thing and, um, yeah, just being consistent because that's one thing in my life I have not been, I haven't been consistent until this year. 2023 was a huge, huge change for me in my life in so many good ways. And I'm so thankful for that. So just be consistent. And if I can do it, you can do it. I've officially lost 75 pounds and that feels crazy to think about but I feel better than I have felt in 10 years. So anyway, more surprises to come. Stay tuned. Yeah, let's get on with this video. I think we have some shopping in this video. I know you guys like to see what's new at Walmart sometimes. So um, let's get on to that. But don't forget to go to catalinacrunch.com slash Carla and save 15% or just go to the website and use my code. But I will have everything down below in the description box and I hope you enjoy the delicious cookies as much as I do. You guys are not gonna believe this, but this Walmart has a Duncan. Like, how awesome is this? So you guys know I had to come in here. I got, instead of getting the cookie butter cold brew, I actually got a cookie butter latte with the topping on it. How delicious does this look? A lot of the Christmas stuff out, which I know I'm late to the game on this because, hello, I mean, I have been doing the whole flight attendant thing, but I remember getting the sugar cookie cereal last year. They also had the Christmas cake bites out, and then I don't remember these last year. They probably did have them, though. These are the hot cocoa cake bites. Should we look at the clothes while we're in here a little bit? They have the Celebrity Pink brand in here, which a lot of Walmarts don't carry. My Walmart back at home does not carry this brand in store. Well, they have a few pieces. Also, check out these. Pork Chop Flare Mid-Rise Jeans. 
very, very nice. Look, this is a whole suit. I would totally wear that. I also really, really like these right here. The brown corduroy, very cute. They have these shirts right here, which are perfect for like a Christmas get together. They have brown. This is also a really cute shirt. Would go really cute with a pencil skirt. They have these right here. They have some jackets around here, which I think are so cute. These remind me of middle school. How adorable are these? Especially this blue jean one. It reminds me of middle school. They also have these jackets right here. These are Swiss check jackets, so they're $44.98, so a little bit more pricey, but they are very, very good quality. You cannot go wrong with this brand. I love the pink, and I love that these are a little bit longer. They have black, they have like a navy blue, and then they have like this whitish gray color over here. Looks like they have Christmas sweatshirts here for $10.98. Can't beat that. Are these Christmas? This one just says, in your dreams. What is this one? It's sweater weather. Don't worry guys, I'll put them back where they go. And I like the brown. Why is everyone so obsessed with me? Okay, I would never wear that. That's ridiculous. Um, Wonder West Country Festival. Okay, those are okay. Not that great. Oh wait, I told y'all I'd put them back, so I'll put them back. We also have our little Christmas outfits right here. If you wanna pretend like you're on the Mean Girls and do the Jingle Bell Rock, Walmart's got you covered for $20.98. You could even be one of Santa's helpers as well. They've got the green and then this one. This would be perfect for like an ugly sweater party. Speaking of an ugly sweater party, this one is actually ugly, but it's cute at the same time. I just love the pink and green and like pretty blue colors together. All of that is so pretty. They also have these over here. These are more like a suede material. They're like hoodies or pullovers. I like these more. I would probably wear these like out on the town. I'm not even kidding. They even have some leggings down here that are super soft, but like these would be super cute with jeans for $12. That one right there. I love that one. Also love that one. Here's another. They have a couple to choose from. Christmas t-shirt. Look at this, this tie-dye Bugs Bunny one. Santa's coming, I know him. This elf shirt. They have Lion King Christmas shirts. How cute. Well, what is that? I forgot what character that is, but it's not just Lion King, it's Mickey Mouse, all of the characters. I'm not a Disney girl, so I don't know. Okay, look how cute this is. Cookie calories don't count with a little gingerbread man on it. That's adorable. Okay, these are supposedly clearance, but they're kind of like distressed almost sweatshirts and there's different colors. I think they're so cute and they're $9 it says. Tax is $16.98. Don't look at my nails. Actually look, I broke one thanks to an aircraft. You're welcome. Okay, check out these cute shirts. These would like be perfect for Christmas or New Year's, especially Christmas or New Year's. We'll see these black ones back here. I would probably need like a medium-ish, maybe a large depending on how big they're made. Um, I could probably do a medium. I think they're supposed to fit a little bit like, yeah, medium would be perfect, but I don't know what I would wear it with. I have some faux leather pants, but we'll see how much are these, $11.98 cute all right we have some fur coats over here in the time and true brand some cargo pants in the is this time and true yeah i'm pretty sure this no this is no boundaries okay um another like fur coat up here this walmart has a lot more than what mine does and then all of these little jackets right here i love these so much i'm gonna have to take a peek at the brown one back there but these are no boundaries and these are 14.98 so they have more christmas shirts over here they also have this cute little shirt that says long live cowgirls these are only five dollars still some five dollar tees here at walmart and then check out the little snoopy sweatshirt how cute okay so i just went on instagram and was talking about this how I am in Maryland right now while I'm filming and who knew that Walmarts had Dunkin's inside. But they have so much more like clothing items at this Walmart than mine does. 
like look at this shirt i've never seen this before this is tara and sky but i know a lot of you guys like like me to show this brand when i'm in store um i'll show you another shirt i've never seen i'm not gonna unfold it because i'm the most terrible folder ever but this one is also tara and sky they have a ton more let me turn the camera around and show you but i wanted to like fill you in a little bit um since this is kind of supposed to be my q a my flight attendant q a right now i'm in maryland because i'm on reserve and i'm based in philly which philly and maryland right beside each other um delaware all of that together but starting in january i will be based back home near charlotte so just a few more weeks of me being away from home a lot but i'm really getting to experience a lot of things i wouldn't have experienced otherwise so i'm really grateful but so far in my cart i grabbed just a plain white tank top because they're only 298 um for five dollars just this plain brown shirt and then i also got these more fitted shirts i hope they fit me i got a large in each of them they'll either be a little bit too big or they'll fit just right so um i don't want to go too small though so i think these will be perfect with jeans or faux le leather pants or whatever so that's what i have in my cart so far but i'm going to try to make my way over to more of the store because right now i'm at work but i'm not on duty so we'll see what happens the rest of the day here are more of those tara and sky shirts i was going to show you i haven't seen these back at my walmart but they have so many more patterns and they're only $13.98 also in the tara and sky brand they have these really really cute pullovers i haven't seen these back at home either all kinds of different patterns i really like this one right here honestly i like all of them but i thought i would show them and then they have like this zebra print one these are only $14.98 can't beat that back to the time and true we have some flannels over here we have the red and the black we have the navy which i love i do not have a navy flannel i don't think i've ever owned a navy flannel they're very soft and comfy and then I also like this like brownish, beigeish, whatever color you would consider this. Also for $19.98, we have these sweatshirts, which I think are really nice. They have turtlenecks, which they have Christmas colors. They've got the red, which I love. Let me know down below, are you a turtleneck wearer? They're only $9.98 red perfect for christmas time they also have the black which would be perfect the black or the white would be perfect under like a vest or something okay you know the blankets that have been all of the rave over the last few years they have these in like little travel sets now it comes with the eye mask the socks the hair tie and the bag and they all feel so soft and cozy is $17.97 for the set. Such a great Christmas gift idea. Okay, I don't know if y'all remember last year how much I love the Joy Spun brand and all through the summer, the look, they have like the little onesie gown things. How cute are these? $17.98. They have this pattern back here. I almost just want one because this looks like it's probably Joy Spun too. Yes, it is. These are $9.98 for these PJ pants right here. They're so soft and cozy. They have lots of different patterns, of course. And then they just have these basic top gowns for $7.98. They're super soft. Like that's the thing I love about Joy Spun. All of their things are so, so soft. What is this black one right here? Okay, how to build a snowman. I don't really like that one, but so soft. This one right here is really, really cute. We've got the blue. We have the Christmas PJs right here. These are $24.98 for the set. I love the pink set right here. And what do you know? This is the last one and it's my size. I mean, do I need this? Probably not. Okay, this is interesting. This is not to do with anything that I've been showing in this video, but I've never seen these in this brand. Okay, so back in my room, they were supposed to clean it while I was gone. 
they didn't. So I'm gonna give you guys like a quick little haul until they get in here. Um, like I said, I have been out of town and I haven't had a lot of clothes. So I just picked up some basics at Walmart to wear. I feel like my camera's crooked. So I got this really soft, it's like an athletic hoodie. I'm assuming it has the little holes in the thumbs. It does not, um, but it's still soft and it was only like $15. So I grabbed that in navy blue. Um, also, I grabbed same jacket I'm wearing now. This jacket's from Walmart. I grabbed a brown one as well. Another basic. More basic items. I grabbed just a brown, um, like, long sleeve tee. Um, I got a size large. This was only $5. And then I grabbed some basic tank tops. These were $2.98. I got a large in each of these. I got a white one. I got a black one. These are stretchy too. And then I got a pink one because it's me. Hello. And um, more little basics. These are like double layer long sleeves. They're kind of like silky. These were $8.98. Um, I got a large in these as well. I got a white one. And then I also got a black one. And these will go with a ton of my clothes and I found this skirt on clearance. I got a size, oh no, this is not gonna fit me. It was on, it was on a um, hanger that said a size eight. This is a size 12, Lord help me. It was only $6 on clearance, but it's not gonna fit me. I thought it looked a little bit big. It was supposed to be like an eight petite. I wonder if I grabbed the wrong one. Um, also, I needed more mouthwash. So I got mouthwash. I got some Pepsi just to have with me. I left my um, prescription heartburn medication at home. So I grabbed it just to have. And then I have been sicker than I've ever been, I guess because I've worked from home for the past four years and now that I'm around all these people on like airplanes and stuff, I've been sick lately. So I grabbed this severe cold and flu and I have one more bag. I got, okay, so the lady at Victoria's Secret said that I do not buy the right bra size, but this is what is comfortable for me. I buy 38C. She said I'm a 34 double D. I'm like, you should have seen the way I looked at her, but I buy what is comfortable for me. So I got this bra at Walmart. I just thought it was cute. I literally only brought one bra with me. I didn't mean to only bring one bra, so that's why. And then I just got like this little cheap t-shirt bra just to wear around when I'm not working. I got green. I don't have any green bras. And also did not bring as many pairs of socks as I need. Um, usually I'm wearing pantyhose, tights, whatever you want to call them. But um, I just grabbed a couple of pairs of socks here because they're only, they were only a dollar a piece. So that is my little basics Walmart haul.